All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Make sure you smack that like button and subscribe for more daily 2K content as well as basketball rumors and all of that. And without further ado, let's get right into the news. Let's get it. Also, I forgot to tell y'all, man, make sure you hit me up in the comments or on Instagram or on Twitter if you like these custom head ties. We can come up with something for you. Just hit me up. Let me know what you kind of want. Give me an idea, and we can go from there. But anyway, right into the news, man. New Orleans Pelicans rookie Zion Williamson signs a $75 million shoe deal with the Jordan brand. Now, it already said in the comments and down below that he took less money to sign with Jordan. Do you know what that means? That means that he really wanted to sign with them. It also means that Nike and Jordan are the pinnacle of the shoe game. I mean, you can't really hate on it. I don't think there's, there's any dis dispute there. I think everybody knows that when it comes to shoes, there's Jordan, there's Nike, and then there's everything else. I'm sure he got better deals from people like Puma, probably got better deals from like Reebok, Converse trying to get back into shoes, and uh, you know, New Balance is getting into shoes. I'm sure that they all did, but when you're trying to establish and cement your brand, you want to go with an established partner and it doesn't get more established than the Jordan brand and the guy who everybody wants to be like, which is Michael Jordan. Now look, I can understand if somebody says, hey, we're going to come along and we're going to offer you $100 million over seven years. He got $75 million over seven years, but I'm quite sure he feels like money and everything. And what I mean with that is, it's gonna be under the Jordan brand, I'm quite sure that it comes with some access to Jordan, or maybe the promise of some access to Jordan. Maybe you get some mentoring, maybe you get some, uh, you know, some advice here and there. Maybe he'll show him how to shoot the fade away, or maybe he just feels like if I'm going to do this thing and everybody wants to be like Mike, maybe, I should be under the Mike brand, learn how to be like him, learn how to be a professional, learn how to grow my brand, and then from there, I can take it from there. We don't know if we're gonna get the Air Zion, we don't know if we're gonna get the Mount Zion, we don't know what type of shoes they got for him, but if you're under the Jordan brand, which is under the Nike umbrella, two established brands, the most established brands in the shoe industry, you can't go wrong, especially if you don't have any real idea of what you want from the beginning. After you go through and you become a star and you get more established and you've had a few shoes or whatever, maybe you can do like Kawhi, go to New Balance, tell them exactly what it is that you want and they'll produce that for you. But when you're first starting out, I don't see a better brand to partner with than the Jordan brand. And like I said, other people did offer him more money, but money and everything and obviously that's the case in this deal. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Did he make the right decision? Should he have gone with somewhere else? Would you have elected to take the money and take more money? Or would you have elected to take the Jordan deal hoping that it comes with some promise of being tutored by Mike or some type of business advice or anything that Mike could give you? I mean, if you just being in the presence of Mike at one of the groupings or gatherings or something would be enough for a lot of people because you get to pick his brain for five to ten seconds on just being a professional or anything like that. But hey, you let me know what you think down in the comments. Is that worth that or would you have taken the money? I may have taken the Jordan deal knowing that it's going to come with some access to Mike, but hey, uh, you know, it is what it is. Money can't buy some things and I don't think it can buy that experience. But I'm out of here, man. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments and we out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello!